Hell's throne awaits, but the power struggle begins with Spawn, Jessica Priest, She Spawn, Monolith, Raven Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, Medieval Spawn, Cataclysm, Sin in the Green World and Heaven. It is all a gang show going on and we're going to break it down. Alright, my brothers and my sister from another mister, this is a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 347, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Spawn, the battle for the throne is approaching its apex as fighting breaks out across all realms of hell and spills into heaven. So we go back in this flashback untold centuries ago. We did cover this in Spawn issue 323 or 333. It's a backstory Calistriostra as Cain, but now he's on the cross and Violator's just mocking him like, ha ha ha, this is a sight, isn't it? Heard Malboja sent the screaming sisters on you, Cogliostro, but this is worse than I imagined. What do you think would happen after you launched your coup, huh? You think you're just gonna betray him and take the throne of hell for yourself? What the good news is, is that tomorrow, Malboja is letting that corpse makers take their turn on you. And word is, they know how to do some really good torture. I mean, essentially, it's a living autopsy. Personally, I'm curious about getting a peek at your brain. I've always wondered how the heck did you get in your head this delusion that you're gonna take the throwing a hell for yourself. I blame Malboja for encouraging this in the first place. He should have never given you that hell spawn symbiote. Uh-uh-uh. I told Malboja, I said humans can handle it, but I can assure you, Cog, as long as I live, you'll never sit upon hell's throne. And now back in today, Cogliosho as Sin is motivated as ever, but he gets some news from his guy Cataclysm, kind of like his second in command. He tells him it's been confirmed, my lord. The past few weeks, Cataclysm and Green World have been secretly building their forces in the regions, and they're flanking either side of us. And Cog's like, how did we miss this? Or Sin's like, how did we miss this? Well, they've been coordinating this for months. They're planning to trap us in the pincer. Green World's forces will be coming from the east, and Cataclysm's force will be coming from the west, and the attack might come as early as today. Then we move quickly, says Sin, and raided the troops. Divide the troops. I'll take one half. Cataclysm, you lead the other half. Alright, so we gotta stop them where they are. So now where we left off in the previous issue where Spawn announced that he was gonna take the throne of hell for himself. And she spawns like, you can't be doing this. And Spawn's like, well, there's no other option, Jessica. That's the only way we deal with the problem permanently. Well, is that why you lied to us to lead us here? No, says Spawn. And who cares anyway? Stopping Sin or Khan from getting to the throne first, that's all that matters. Otherwise, Earth falls. So we just follow you blindly, says Raven Spawn. Well, yeah, says Spawn. Otherwise, you might as well join Sin. Keeping me from the throne just leaves it open for him. Then we won't be able to stop him, all right? So Spawn is thinking, I gotta do this to take to take them out the equation. I'm the lesser of the evil. So Hans has a pretty good question. It's like, I'm confused. What was the point of us going to heaven early? And that was going back a few issues back. I don't recall the issue, but Hunt and Spawn did have to go to heaven to get the gun. And that's what Spawn told him. We needed that gun. And that was before the dead zones were reopened. But with Sin having access to vast necroplasm reserves, I don't know if the gun will even be powerful enough to deal with it. And if we could stop Sin, that wouldn't solve the problem. There's always going to be someone clawing to claim the throne. The only way for this to end is for it to be me. And so they all look at Spawn like, I don't know, bro, that's kind of sus. Why should it be you anyway? Because I can control it. Like you control the dead zones. You really think anyone here trusts you with that level of power, says Monolith? You're weak, Simmons. Then you take it, Monolith says Spawn. Or how about you, Raven? How about you, Jessica? How about one of you take it, all right? It doesn't have to be me. Any creature born of hell or marked by hell can sit on the throne. You don't want me, that's fine, but one of you needs to step up and make this sacrifice knowing that damn well you'll never be able to return to your earth or never see anyone that you care about again. So the silence is deafening. They all go quiet. <laughs> Spawn's like, yeah, that's what I thought. This is all a con, Spawn. You want that power for yourself. And Raven unleashes his ravens on Spawn. I want the universe to survive, says Spawn. That's what I want, you coward. And he decks him in the face with his chain. We all want that, says Monolith. And, you know, before this fight breaks out, they're all about to go out and go at each other. But in hindsight, it's only stalling time for them to stop Sin and Clown from taking a throne while they're fighting amongst themselves and not thinking rationally. I mean, how could you? The tensions are rising high here. So Jessica Priest is like, all right, Simmons is right. After she blasts her necroplasm to kind of stop them at their tracks. We don't have time for this, all right? We need to stop Sin and right now. Our best chance to do that is to track down those freaking guys who capture Gunslinger Spawn and Medieval Spawn. Al, I'm not gonna stand your way, 
but I'll be damned if I'm going to abandon my teammates. Anyone who wants to stay is welcome to stay. The rest of you, we're leaving in two minutes. One by one, they slip away. Simmons lets them go. He won't beg. He's too proud for that. The only one who pauses, even for a moment, is Reaper. In the end, even he turns to help save his teammates. So now we go into this attack, and he begin in the early hours, and, and Heaven is wondering how did this attack go unnoticed? I mean, it's more complicated than that. And they believe the attack is carried on by the orders of the demon, the clown. In theory, he's aligned with Cataclysm, but it's known that he harbors his own ambitions for his own for the throne. You just have to know that with clown. They know that. So initially, they thought it was either Cataclysm or Sin to attack him on the east or the west, but no, it's the clown's army. So now Heaven wants to send out word that they need to start pulling back and redirecting some of their forces into Heaven's directions. And Raptor's like, nah, we can't do that. That ain't what we're doing. And his lieutenants are like, we understand understand the importance of the throne, but we're in danger of losing control of this situation. Well, with all disrespect, says Raptor, you're overreacting. They only made an incursion at the edges of the territory. They're nowhere near the shining city itself. Nothing more. You're just overreacting. So his lieutenant's like, okay, I'm not asking for a full retreat. We maintain a presence here while reducing our overall forces while hell civil war runs its course. Let them do their thing, but let's reduce our numbers and, re and redirect those forces to us. No, says Raptor. We slow down now. It'll give them time to end their war and have them unite behind one leader. No, we got to keep that attack and keep that foot on the throat. No matter how many lives we lost, we're doing that. So we stayed the course. They may have had the element of surprise, but that won't last. What's more important is pushing forward here and cementing our victory. And these guys are not buying it. They're like, but Rapture, you, got, you ain't listening. No, I said press forward, says Rapture. Do as you're ordered. It's a skirmish. That's it. And then these guys are like, is he out of his freaking mind? He's always been stubborn, but this is just obsessive. If we don't change courses soon, they may not be a home for us to go back to. And the other lieutenant's like, I agree. I'm starting to worry he'll let heaven burn if it meant for him to get the victory down here. That's just not how you do it. You can't let heaven burn and get the victory in hell. That makes no freaking sense. So the lieutenant's like, I think it might be time to think about what the future might look like after Rapture. They want to dethrone his ass. So meanwhile, back to Spawn. Spawn didn't mention it to She Spawn or the others, but there was another way to get to the Infernal Keep. A dark route that runs through the underbelly of hell. Though, the lands below, a place most have forsaken long ago. At least, though still with their sanity. Because the immense toll the land below demands of those who attempt to journey through it, eh, well, not many people want to do all that. But as mentioned, Spawn is out of any good options right now. And out of allies as he descends into the darkness. So in the Infernal Keep, Cataclysm is asking what's the latest going on with the battlefield. So his lieutenant's like, well, it's still too early, my leech, but... What I've heard so far has been encouraging. The Green World has engaged since forces on the outskirts in the First Realm, near the Pestilence Field. And less is known about our own armies and battles, but I wouldn't at this point, it, you know, it wouldn't be cause for any concern. They're doing their thing right now, and, you know, no news is good news, and guess what? We're doing our thing, Cataclysm, so don't worry about it. And what if sin, says Cataclysm, has he been sighted? <laughs> nah, not yet, bruh. On their way, Jim asked Nyx how she was feeling, and that was in a couple issues back or in the previous issue, I don't recall, but she lied, saying that she was fine. She doesn't sleep much anymore. When she does, she dreams images of the moments right before her death, before she was murdered by Sin when he was Cagliostro. Ever since, there's been a growing sense of unease rising in her. Even though there was a chance that she knew or she believed that Sin might go to another battlefield, well, that perhaps could be, you know, she might be facing him for another day, but. I then again, she might be facing him today as this necropasm beam comes down and guess what? Sin is there and he's ready to go to work. So it's true, he says. I heard rumors that Green World had brought you back. What a waste to have to kill you again as he stands tall and very imposing on her. I was about to say the same thing, says Nyx. Sin allows a tiny smile to cross his face, almost admiring her confidence. However, it was delusional. For Nyx, she as yet has no idea how much this battle will cost her, or how many of those standing at her side will meet their ends that day. You got Heap, you got Cycle, you got Overkill, you got Jim Downing and Nick's ready to go to work on Sin, or is Sin gonna go to work on them? 
We will find that out later. But on the other side of hell, for a long time, she has watched from the silence as the world grew darker. When the dead zones finally opened, she took her chance and escaped from heaven, journeying out across the void between the worlds in search of one man. Her name is Wanda Fitzgerald, and she has traveled a long way to speak with Al Simmons. And that story is going to be continued in King Spawn issue number 27, which does conclude Spawn issue number 347. Hell's thrown away but the power struggle begins with everybody who's going to take it who's going to go down and you know for a possession that great the price of this victory or the price of that possession is going to have to be very great too i love the how the way this ended and you know on this channel we cover all the spawn comics spawn king spawn gunstick spawn and the scorched link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection support the art support the industry and also don't forget to check out ratedcomics.com if you want to add any really cool rated comics limited print exclusives to add to your comic book collection lastly this video is sponsored by coffee because i do these videos early in the morning before i take my kids to school so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to rated comics youtube channel thank you again for watching until next time